Hi there, Steph from Steph Made It For You. So today I wanted to show you how I use Krita to do digital hand lettering practice. So I used a brush lettering practice sheet. It's a PDF document that I opened in Krita and it's got loads of pages and each page has loads of different letters. So instead of opening each page individually, I'm opening them all at once and I will show you why later. So it's quite straightforward. It does take a little time to load sometimes, but overall it's pretty good. Um, then my second step is to show you how to create your own hand lettering brush. So there's a brush that's already set, but it's a round brush. Um, and I find that for hand lettering, a kind of like oval squished brush is a bit better. So as you can see here, it's really oval and round. Oh, sorry, it's really round, not oval and round. It's really round and I find that the letters look a little bit more elegant when it's a bit oval. So I click on save a new brush preset and it's basically making a copy of an existing brush but all you need to do is to change the name of that brush. So in my case I'm going to call it Steph. Um, I did a bit of practice around so you will see the Steph 2 and Steph 3 but the principle is the same. And then you click save. So once you've done that, you'll be able to click on the brush and look at the setting for that brush and then change it as you want. So you can change the ratio to make it more oval so it's less round uh, and it will give you that nice effect when you write. So here you have your oval and you go to ratio and you move it down and you make it a bit more flat. And then you just need, you can change the diameter if you want, but in my case I use 15 pixels most of the time and then you click save. Um, so here I was on 25, I realized it's too big, so I do 15, but I did a bit of back and forth because I have my own brush that I've set months ago uh, and I always go back to that one, but for the purpose of the video I was trying to find what works best, uh, so I was fiddling around. But here you have on the right hand side, you have a paint layer 15, which is the one I used to practice, and then you have all the pages from my PDF, uh, which I've clicked on the logo to lock them, you won't see it very well, it's a little bit outside the, the screen, but um, I click on that so I can't edit to these pages and if I do try I will have a logo telling me you can't edit this page so it will remind me to go back to my paint layer 15 which is the one that I used to practice so I really struggle I'm, I'm gonna be honest I really struggle with straight lines and circles uh, I don't know why I've been doing hand, digital hand lettering for months but for some reason I always struggle so I'm just putting it out there that if you're struggling you're not the only one um, and hopefully it will get better in time but uh, I don't know if it's just me if you find it easy to do A's and O's and uh, I'm actually okay with D's so A's and O's do let me know because I'd like to know if I'm the only one or not <laughs> so here I'm doing my curves and my circles and yeah it's hard <laughs> uh, but do practice does make better actually I found that before I use this practice I actually purchased these practice sheets of Etsy uh, and before that, uh, my handwriting wasn't great. I used some free kind of practice sheets I find on Google and it wasn't great. Uh, here I'm just showing you on the right hand side how you can click on the eye to hide the page. Jeez. It's like an onion. Think of it as an onion and layers. So you can hide the layer to see the layer below. And then if you unhide your top layer, the one you practice with, then you can write over the top because your top layer is basically it has an invisible background let's say you can then see your page one or your page two or your page three so it's quite handy so as i said i went back and forth a few times with the ratio here you have a little pad you can practice a bit to see if it works for you um, and here you have that logo that red circle with a red line in the middle it's telling you you can't write on that layer so it reminds you that you need to go back to your paint layer so because I already practiced on that one, I had to clear my page. So to do that, you select on the left hand side, there's a square with dashed lines and it's kind of like a selecting tool. So you select, you click delete, and then you need to click in a blank space outside the square. And I insist on that because I did not understand that at first. And then I was trying to write again and it didn't work and I didn't know why. So I hope this will save you a lot of time. Every time you use the selection tools on the left hand side, so there's a square, a circle and some odd shapes, do click on an empty space outside your selected area in order to be able to use your paint tool again, your brush tool again. So here I moved on to the A 
Uh, and as I said, sometimes it's, sometimes it's trickier than other. I mean, here for the purpose of the video, I didn't try very hard. Um, and that's real speed. I did speed things up a little bit after for the purpose of not making it too long, but yeah, I struggle with the A's, there's no 15 ways around. <laughs> so I don't think I've told you, but Krita is an open source video, um, software, so it's free to use. They do welcome donations, so if you can afford it, then please do. Um, and I'm using a Wacom tablet. Uh, it's a small tablet. I hesitated. I wanted a medium tablet, but the price was very different. It was much more expensive for them. I think it was a medium. I think the price was more than twice the price of the small tablet. Uh, and I'm using a 32 inch screen, so I was hesitating because I thought a small tablet with such a big screen is not going to work. Actually, it works perfectly fine. So that's my experience for what I do, which is hand lettering. Um, it's perfectly fine. If you're doing what I do, then if you don't know what I do, you might want to have a look at my social media. But if you do like me, like words or phrases or things like that, or um, you know, practicing hand lettering, that kind of stuff, the small tablet for me works fine. Uh, I wouldn't say you have to go and sp splash £160 on the tablet. So I've put the link in the description, it's an affiliate link, but I put the link in the description to Amazon so you can find a small tablet because I looked for it and it wasn't that obvious to find. Um, I actually bought mine from Amazon Warehouse, so I don't know if you use Amazon Warehouse, but they basically sell returned goods that are virtually new. What's different is sometimes the packaging's been open, that kind of stuff, but cheaper. So do have a look if you can find products from Amazon Warehouse because it's really worth it. I've done it with loads of things. I bought my Cricut Maker as well uh, through Amazon Warehouse and it's definitely worth it. So anyway, the link's in the bottom description. But um, yeah, that tablet is brilliant. And I had a graphic tablet years and years ago at the beginning when the you had the really nice ones and you had the really cheap ones and I had a really cheap one. And it, was, it wasn't great. Like, I can really tell the difference of Wacom. The sensitivity on it is much better. One thing that I forgot to mention is on the right hand side at the top, um, you have tool options and then you have the distance and the delay. And the delay is really helpful. And when I record, I change the delay because the software, the recording software, slows things down on my computer. But normally I have it between 7 and 10. Um, so if you find that you're going too fast or too slow, try to fiddle with the delay. It will help you try to find the right speed for you. If you go too fast with your hand, it, it does something that adjusts it and it, it does make it work better. I'm not actually sure how to explain it, but it makes a big difference for me. So do fiddle with the delay on the top right hand side uh, in the tool option and I think that will help you. Um, while I was chatting, because I'm very chatty, um, I've kept on practicing all different letters. I wanted to show you what was in there, basically. And there's a name of the Etsy shop if you want to go and have a look. Uh, I think I paid less than £10 for the practice sheet. I don't know if the prices have changed, but I think I, pa I paid less than 10 I'm fairly sure of that. So one of the things I was to show you is how to color your letters. So if you look here, um, it says page one. There's a lock, a weird A, and a checkboard. And here I've showed you a screen with the lock, without the lock and with the lock. If you click on that, the lock will appear. And when you try to color your letter, so if you select a color, uh, in that case red, and you change your brush size because it will just be easier. It will avoid you to have to color for ages, it will just do more. Uh, in one stroke, you can color one letter. It will color the letters that you've thrown on your top layer without coloring your background. And that's brilliant because there's loads of moments where it will be helpful. You might not think of it now, but you may later on. So I thought it was worth sharing because it saved me so much time when I was, you know, practicing letters on top of existing letters and things like that. You can change the color, so that's brilliant. So I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please do leave me a comment if you have any questions. Please feel free to share with a friend if you think it might be helpful. Um, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and a thumbs up will be great as well uh, and have a great day and I see you in the next video. Bye!